Hello, good evening and welcome to Look North. The headlines tonight. Harnessing the Humber, the power station which is creating electricity from the tides. A tidal power project in the Humber has this week generated its first batch of electricity from the estuary's currents. Now, the prototype rig at Stalingrad near Immingham aims to harness natural tides to create power for people's homes. Now, it comes as new figures reveal the Humber area is becoming an important centre for renewable energy. Currently, there are just over 2,000 people working in the industry locally. But by 2012, that's expected to grow to more than 3,500, so creating 1,500 new jobs. Matt Richards has more. Turning the power of the Humber tides into electricity, these pistons are controlled by the estuary's tidal currents, and in turn that's now being transformed into electrical power. This has been my ambition and my dream now for, for five or ten years. Mark Pache has been leading this two million pound experiment. Uh, well essentially this just shows us what's going on in the system. Uh, it tells us how much power we're getting from the generator and other parameters like the, the position of the crank, uh, the position of the blades, etc, etc. So now for the first time the power of the currents here in the Humber have been harnessed using this machinery and already the power that's been generated here has been used by some of the companies on the south bank of the Humber. We've proved now that this technology can work and in the future we'll be able to generate low-cost, predictable, renewable power. It's all part of a growing move towards renewable energy sources on our coastline. Already 57 wind turbines are generating power off the Skegness coast and there are even bigger plans further north. E.ON want to create one of Europe's biggest wind farms eight kilometres off Spurn Point, generating enough electricity for a city twice the size of Hull. And while this tidal experiment is on a much smaller scale, those behind it say it's the potential that's important. I'm not going to say anything bad about wind power. However, the wind is not predictable, um, and as we know, the offshore wind farms are also quite expensive. Uh, tidal power's got the fantastic benefit of being entirely predictable, and um, also the energy in the tides is quite a lot higher than the energy in the wind. And that means that in the future, tidal power promises to be cheaper and better than wind power. So now this rig is to be tested in a range of conditions, while plans are already being drawn up for bigger versions to provide power to the grid on a permanent basis. Matt Richards, BBC Look North, in the Humber Estuary. Well, joining me live on this one uh, tonight is uh, John Holmes from uh, Hull Forward. Uh, John, good evening to you. Uh, lots of people until tonight wouldn't have known much about this. Uh, how important could this renewable energy be to the local economy? I think renewable energy generally is very significant. The Humber has always played a very significant part. So we see this as terrific news today, the first time that this, this company and this site of technology is actually linked up to a, a major company onshore. Given that and the number of turbines, are we leading the way in the UK, in our part of the world, for this this type of power generation at the moment? I think without a doubt, I think this technology is being proven. I think it's a great story. It's a local company tested here in, in, in the city itself, up the deep with the university, really making great strides in this new technology. Geographically, these companies are, are attracted to our area, aren't they? How do we make the most of that investment mm. then? I think physically we're very well placed, obviously, having such a fantastic asset in the river itself. But also what we're doing is linking together the technologies, promoting what these companies are good at and making sure that the, the skill supply is there with the universities and the trades. So we're generating electricity, are we going to generate jobs? Without a doubt, as you've reported, I mean almost a doubling over the next four or five years in renewable en energy generally. So a very significant contributor to the local and the regional and the national economy. Very good to see you John, thank you very much My for pleasure. coming in.